a $2.1 billion increase to $25 billion. A historic number for New York State, the governor goes on to say, but let's back up the tape. I propose for this two-year cycle. And there it is, $2.1 billion in education aid over two years, which means there's no guarantee the legislature will reach or even surpass that figure next year. Though based on last year's $1.4 billion approval, Michael Borges is hopeful history will repeat itself. Really the number is $991 million, which is, you know, sort of low. Nevertheless, the governor outlined two goals Wednesday, turning struggling districts into holistic community schools and let's end the gap elimination adjustment. During the fiscal crisis, the state imposed a GEA so that every school district got a deduction from their state aid. Here we are, you know, five years later, we're still getting deducts, even though the state is not in a fiscal crisis. Borges says only 43 percent of the 434 million of the GEA would be eliminated under the governor's plan. At first glance, the budget proposal shows nine local school districts would be facing cuts. It dropped 5.76. Broken down, though, the drop is attributed to services simply no longer being necessary. Their building projects were finished, so they're no longer getting building aid. Um, they're maybe using less BOCES services, so their BOCES aid would have dropped. Which was exactly the case with the East Greenbush School District that could be looking at a total loss of approximately $1.7 million. Over the last three years, we started putting back programs, um, adding more services, and if school aid doesn't go up again significantly this year, you'll see some rollbacks. And with a projected 0% tax cap and local school districts unable to raise additional funds, staffing and programs will likely be first on the chopping block. In Albany, Karen Tarachi, Time Warner Cable News.